Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be happy yet. I still have to wait, but this is um, a good sign. Apparently it's successful. I don't know what successful means. I did just pay for a, for a cab up here to just five. It's been five minutes. I'm not, I'm gonna do some shopping. <laughs> Dance is expression. Good afternoon. I don't really know how to say this, but I, I don't really want to start out this episode this crazy. Yeah, th I'm starting out this episode crazy. A lot has happened today. Uh, first of all, um, GoPros don't put in the battery the wrong way around. I put it in upside down and I got stressed and trying to rush and then my battery got stuck in there. I just had to remove it with an X-Acto knife. Not safe, don't do that kids. I'm a bit all over the place as you can tell. I'm a bit stressing out a bit, but in here, I'm so excited. How am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? So, if you've been around the channel, if this is your first video, watching me. Hello, good evening. You have no idea what's going on right now, but go back, I think about three videos, three vlogs ago, on my second week here, my hard drive corrupted. Oh no, oh no indeed. That was four terabytes worth of data. My data that is gone, vanished, wiped off the face of the earth. It's gone. Over 300 videos I've done gone. Just like that. As you can imagine, I was very stressed. I have been very stressed. Luckily, my parents helped me out and shout out to Curry's PC World if this works because I tried to restore it, but it's going to take 28 days. 28 days leaving my computer on. It wouldn't even be done by now. Unreasonable. It wouldn't work. It's been two weeks, three weeks, and I finally got it back. This is the old hard drive that actually still works, apparently. And supposedly, as they say, it was successful when it should have my stuff on it. I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. Crazy starts a vlog, I know. Happy Monday, everyone. Let's get this. this. I just... I just broke the exacto knife. Broke. I uh, just cut it in the wrong place. I'm stressing. Like, what if it doesn't work? What if I just got my hopes up? Gee whiz. Supposed to have all my stuff. This is like old family... Photos, old family videos, like four terabytes worth of stuff. Don't even understand how big that is. Ah! Right, stop shaking. Stop shaking. Stop shaking. Please work. Please work. It's appeared onto the workspace. This is it here. Open it. Rescue. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, they've got back one of the main folders that I wanted. Um, memories. So I have all my family photos and videos back. But it's gonna take me a while. I'm gonna have to go through all the files and see what I can find and what I can't find. It's gonna take me a while. I, I have the evening though. Oh my God, oh my God, okay, okay, okay. I have all my, is this everything? I, I at least have back quite a lot of my old videos, like my old, old videos, like before the daily vlogs. Oh my God, that's huge. That is huge. That is huge. Yeah, so I have back everything before the daily vlogs. I have my old intros, old outros. Happy Tuesday. This is going to be the shortest section in the vlog. Because I've literally just been working all day, so um... This has been Tuesday. <laughs> I've literally, I'm just... It's, it's like 10 o'clock and I'm still reading. I'm going to make myself a drink. Oh, that is not as soft as it seems. Oh my, why am I hurting myself today? It's harder to play the ukulele lying down than sitting up, so. I tried to um, create a cocktail last night between coconut rum, Jägermeister, and pineapple juice. Notice how I haven't got pineapple juice in my hand. The cocktail sucked. It was called surface acid, and it was horrible. I took one sip and poured it down the drain, because it tasted awful. I probably made it wrong. Regardless, pineapple juice sucks, and I hate it with a passion. Pineapple juice doesn't taste nice. It seems like it would taste nice. No. So I have a friend coming to collect my pineapple juice today, because I don't drink it. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. It doesn't even belong in the juice. See, deep thoughts on Wednesdays. It's a deep thought day. Good morning, Mr. Dinosaur. How are you today? There we go. There we go. It's not a very nice day. It's um, very windy. Yeah. 
about what? Batteries. 6.5 million. Sorry? They've got, so that I think 10% are supposed to be delivered by Christmas. Te wait, what Ten is going on? They've got, they've procured vaccinations and they're for COVID. We have a vaccine. Oh, oh I yeah. didn't know about this. We <laughs> have a vaccine. What the fuck? Where did this come from? I'm so glad I got this on camera. So we have a vaccine. I'm um, just woken up. It's lost in translation today. I'm so happy. Mr. Harris, welcome to Parkland. I'm so happy. I figured out a new hack. I can watch my lectures, get down notes. I've, I've figured it out. There's something I need to, to talk about. Um, something I need to address. I feel like I need to talk about it because this vlog, this kind of document of my life of university, uh, this is a, quite a big moment and I feel like I need to talk about it. It's been playing on my mind all day. And um, that is, is that uh, my flat where I'm living is COVID positive. We have COVID. We have it. I know. And as you can imagine, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a bit out of it. I'm a bit... I'm a bit out of it. It's quite hard to comprehend. Um, I'm actually surprised this has come later than I thought. So yeah, um, this is the closest I've ever been to COVID-19 since it's become a pandemic and it's literally living across the hallway from me. It's crazy. So likely it is, I will probably end up getting it. Um, whether I'll get a test or not, I'm not sure. And that's the scary thing. I don't know. But that isn't the reason why I'm, I'm a bit out of it today. And to kind of get an understanding how I'm feeling, I've been listening to Coldplay all day. And when I mean Coldplay, I've listened to three albums of Coldplay. So we're in official lockdown. We can't leave. We have one patch of grass outside that we can go in. Quite hard to comprehend. Um, a lot of changes will be happening because I was originally planning on going home soon. So I was originally going home on November 20th, back home, isolating. At home, only, I would only stay in my house. For those who know me personally, who watch the vlog, probably know that why. November 22nd is quite a big day for me. I don't really feel like I have to explain it. You can, it's a big day for my family. Ideally on November 22nd, I'd love to be with my family. That was the original plan. Probably the biggest day of the year. I care about this day probably more than any other holiday. It's a big deal to, to be with my family and it's just, um, I'd like to be at home for it. So as much as a part of me would be like, oh, I'm gonna go home anyway. I don't care. I'm, I can't do that. I can't. For starters, I don't want to give it to anyone else than like my family. It's just not a human thing to do. And if Abby was here, and she could tell me, um, she would she would be really upset if I did do that. No, I will be here for that day. It's going to be quite a hard one. I'm currently feeling like that. Been on my mind all day. Like I'm surrounded by eight amazing people um, who I know quite well and we all get along really well. So hopefully I don't drive them too crazy. I'm currently in Crocs. I'm running out of spaces to put my camera. Guten Morgen, everyone. Friday. Yay! And so it commences my third day in lockdown. Hello, everybody. It's you go. Oh. I don't know what I'll get up to today. <sighs> As I'm in lockdown, um, my parents. I got me a parcel. Okay, I'm a bit of a mess. <laughs> oh, okay, that hurts. Ah! Uh, oh, they sent me, they sent me a letter. I love my parents so very much. Paracetamol, they got me coffee. Oh, gingerbread men, noodles that are kind of, are they open? Thank you, parents. Uh. I still got my crocs on. This is a first for the vlog. Saturday. You never thought we'd be here, but we're here now. Uh. Oh, crap. If you thought you had the most useless job in the world, Imagine being a doorstop that doesn't actually work because today I, uh, I've booked a coronavirus test Basically as I've been feeling some symptoms you think so because I'm living with someone who's positive um, We all want to get tested to make sure just to be on the safe side you No, know, we'd like to know and see what's like the best possible thing we can do in terms of isolation times I just got back from my COVID-19 test. Are the people really really nice? And then yeah, we uh, went into the testing place. It was like a massive TP. 
and then we um, took the test. It was like a stick, and you shove up your nose, and you put it in your mouth, and then your nose. It, it felt weird. Uh, oh, it's kind of, yeah, it feels strange. So it's all done. We felt good afterwards. It felt like something from, uh, like a post-apocalyptic film. Well, it was kind of cool, but scary at the same time. I watched films like this. It felt comfortable. It didn't feel too scary. It could have felt a lot scarier. And then you just put it in the bag, and then you give it to them, and then it gets sent off, and I find out tomorrow, so. I tested ne negative. I'm negative for COVID-19. It's Sunday, I'm edited, I'm tired, but I'm, <laughs> I'm good. Apparently, I'm negative. Doesn't mean I can't get it. It just means I don't didn't have it when I took the test. Or it means I've already had it. Who knows? Okay then, without further ado, thank you for joining me today. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe, share it, like the video, whatever you want to do. Dislike it if you really want to. And I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.